Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? Steve here, Rake and Profit, coming to you guys with another video. This video, we're gonna talk about lice and bed bugs. What an exciting topic. Just received a comment on one of my videos where I go about doing live research on plush items and stuffed animals. I'll link that up down below. Check that out, it was a good video. Uh, but somebody left a comment saying, Steve, you know, am I, am I being paranoid or like, should I not be worried about getting lice or bed bugs from a thrift store? I've heard stories, this is what this person's saying, I've heard stories about people getting lice, you know, bringing bed bugs into their house because, they, because they've sourced a clothing item or they've thrifted something from a Salvation Army, a Goodwill, a Savers, really any thrift store. Should I be worried? Should I be paranoid? So I'm going to give you guys my take on this. Um, you know, I've been thrifting for what, over three years now? And when I had first gotten started, I was ballsy, I was very ballsy. And the reason why I say that is because I was living at my parents' house at the time. This was about three years ago. And uh, I had a little 100 square foot bedroom. And at that time, I was bringing all of my thrifted items into my bedroom. And I was doing mostly clothing. And if I was to say, you know, what's the, the highest risk item to attract, you know, bed bugs or lice or whatever, probably clothing is probably the number one thing. Um, at that time, I was living at home with my parents, had a little 100 square foot bedroom, and I was bringing everything into my bedroom. I mean, at one point, I think I had like two, 300 clothing items in my room, plus an accumulation of, you know, a whole bunch of different items. And I never got lice. I never, you know, brought any bed bugs into my house that I'm aware of. Um, so maybe I got lucky, but I have heard of people not going to name any names, but I have heard of people who have had some incidents from, you know, buying items from, you know, a particular thrift store. And there was one in my area that was just so dirty. I mean, the clothing was just disgusting over there. I mean, I'm not going to say the name of it, but just use your imagination. It starts with a S um, and the second letter is an A. And then the third letter, I'm not going to say it because then you'll know. But anyways, that thrift store was just disgusting and they actually got rid of that thrift store they sliced it in half and they moved into a new location cleaned it up big time um but that thrift store i heard of some people having some issues with bed bugs and uh i don't want to get into it but it's gross um i've never i've never had them um you know in terms of my reselling buddies and acquaintances i've never really heard many people ever you know get lice or bed bugs but i I guess it's a risk. Um, in terms of how do they clean their items, I heard that um, when these thrift stores get their items, especially clothing items, they don't they don't um, they don't clean them. Like they don't put them in the laundry, they don't wash them. But I did hear. I don't know if this is 100% true or not. Some some thrift stores do this. I don't I I don't think some some other ones don't. Is they spray it with some type of um, disinfectant. So I don't know if that will kill a bed bug if it had bed bugs um i don't know the logistics behind all of that but uh you know obviously there's a risk because you know i've i've found at times i've found clothing items that were just disgusting i mean they were on the rack um uh, being sold at the thrift store they were all wrinkled up they had a horrible smell i mean there's crust there's weird things on it i've seen some really really gross things at the thrift store so obviously there's a risk so what do you do knowing that there's a risk of this. Um, my advice for you is maybe when you get them, if you have to bring them, in, if you have to bring them inside, maybe you were like me three years ago and you have no other choice. Maybe you're a young kid or you're still living at home or you're limited space. If you have to bring it inside, maybe before you bring it inside, spray it with some more disinfectant to try to kill any virus or bacteria or anything living on that item. Uh, that's one tip. Um, I'm trying to think of what else what else to really give for advice. I mean, that's really it. Just maybe spray it. If you want to wash it first, you can do that as well. Just know that, you know, time is money. If you're going to be spending, you know, a couple hours, uh, you know, washing it and, and drying it and folding it up and all that and whatever, just know that it is it is taking out of your time and, and time is of the essence, especially when you're running a business. You've, you've got so many things to do from, you know, if you're, if you're selling on eBay, from sourcing the item to prepping it, to listing it, 
taking pictures, to measuring it, to storing it, to fulfilling the order, dealing with customer service. I mean, there's so many different facets and, and aspects of, of running a business. Time really is money and, and of the essence, so you have to choose your time wisely. But uh, from my experience and from what I know, these thrift stores aren't cleaning the items, they're not washing them, it wouldn't make sense for them. Um, but also another thing I wanna say is most of the time, most of the time I've noticed that you know, especially with clothing, most of it's clean. Most of it's clean. A lot of it's actually dry cleaned in my area. Um, I have noticed that a lot of these thrift stores are stepping up their quality game, so they're not putting out as many crappy, broken, destroyed items as compared to a couple of years ago. That's just in my area. That's something I've noticed. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Um, but you know, it's a risk. You know, can you get bed bugs? Can you get lice? Possibly. Let me know in the comments section below. And don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed if you have attracted lice into your life. It happens to the best of us. So leave a comment below if you've ever heard of anybody, heard of anybody <laughs> like yourself, if you've ever gotten uh, bed bugs or lice, let me know. But uh, yeah, thanks for the question. I appreciate it. Overall, I'd say don't worry about it. Um, you know, if, if uh, you're really worried, try to disinfect it as much as you can before bringing it into the house. Wash it in the laundry if you'd like, or if you've got the ability to do so, um, don't bring it into the house. Don't bring it in with the family. Do everything from the garage or in a shed or something like that. So maybe that'll help the situation. But with that being said, keep on thinking of making that money. Bye.